Hello, welcome back to the channel. I do not have a clue what I am doing this week. This is mental. I'm about 10 or 15 minutes drive from where I live and I'm literally just following a public footpath on my OS maps across a landscape that looks sort of kind of interesting, judging by the OS maps. And I'm heading this way and it should eventually lead to a really small woodland that I've never been to at all. And the weather has just taken a turn for the worse. It was not forecast at all, but it is suddenly like really windy, a little bit drizzly, just all round pretty grim, to be honest. And I don't really know if I'm feeling up to it, but it's all in the name of adventure, I suppose, apparently. And I forgot to put my walking boots on. Got pretty muddy trainers at the minute, but yeah. It's nice to be out either way. I just wanted to come out with my camera. And these sorts of landscapes that you can see behind me are some that I've been wanting to explore a little bit more recently. I wanted to talk a little bit more about them in this week's video as well because I think they're very intriguing and I'm very curious about them. And yeah, they're nice and we'll get into that. But for now, I'm gonna tackle the elements and my muddy shoes, my muddy trainers, and explore this beautiful area. Whatever, let's go. Right, so I really do not know what I'm doing out this evening. But I'm here now, so I'm just gonna accept it. And you know, it's nice, it's pleasant. I wish the weather was a little bit better. I think I'd hold a different opinion if we had some, if, you know, if this was all bathed in beautiful evening golden light, but it isn't. But the pheasant over there, little pheasant. But yeah, I'm gonna uh, stick it out, I suppose. Now I wanted to talk a little bit more about what I meant by these sorts of landscapes. and. Basically in Shropshire, around about where I live, there is a lot of sort of agricultural lands and it's all very flat. And over the past three or four years, I seem to have categorized landscape photography into three sort of subcategories, if you will. So coastal landscape photography, woodland photography, and mountainous photography, or you know, like hills, anything like that. And so these sorts of landscapes like this, I always seem to leave out. I never really explore them very much because I drive around these areas so much and I see it bathed in golden light, I see fog early on in the morning, I look across um, crop fields and there's a beautiful pink sky during a sunset and I always think to myself, you know, wow, there is, there is definitely potential for some nice landscape photographs in these areas and I should definitely explore it more. So that's, I suppose, what I'm trying to do this evening, but you know, you know what, I'm just not feeling this location at all. We have got some really nice sort of lone trees, you might be able to see one there behind me. And there's loads sort of dotted about, but I'm not feeling inspired by this location. And we have got a woodland here that I have not explored and it's looking a little bit autumnal. And as you know, last week I had a fairly, a fairly successful woodland photography outing. So I'm definitely more inspired by that direction. But these sorts of landscapes, agricultural or just you know flat plain sort of landscapes i do want to start exploring them more so watch this space i suppose but yeah for now i'm going to get off this field because it feels weird it really feels like i'm trespassing even though i'm not it is definitely a public footpath cut through i think but yeah i'm going to head off into this woodland and hopefully enjoy some more woodland photography let's go
All right, so I'm in the woodland now. Um, I really hope that you guys understood what I meant when I was back in the field there about them, them landscapes. It's, I'm really taken by this woodland and I think it's something I'm going to save for another week exploring them sort of landscapes. But, you know, there's times I'll be driving around and you'll see just one single tree in the middle of a field and it's golden on. a beautiful long shadow cast off this tree. And then, you know, a lot of the fields around here, they're cultivated, right? So they're really sort of simplified. You've got just really simple crops, say wheat, for example. It's obviously all just one color. And then often you get these really, you know, straight, obviously man-made lines that lead right up to the subject. In this example's case, the tree. And yeah, I just find them sort of landscapes really attractive to the eye. And I want to try and bring that, that into my landscape photography a little bit more if I can. But not this week not this week um, but yeah this like i said this woodland's nice it is really nice and it is fairly autumnal it's very local it's quite small but it is much better than what i thought it was going to be i thought it was going to be like just a lot of pine trees and i'm not a fan of them but yeah we've got some really nice silver birches in the background all these ferns have turned into a, a load of different multicolors for autumn so yeah it's pretty nice um, i haven't really found any anything worth photographing just yet but it's looking promising so in a rather strange turn of events i am set up for a shot and i've come out of the woodland you can see behind me there and i thoroughly enjoyed my walk in there it was awesome but i didn't really find anything to photograph and it was getting a bit frustrating as it often does but yeah then i followed the path through and i kind of came out of that little exit there and Came onto this field here, which is good, firstly, because that's kind of the direction that I wanted to go in this video. You know, try and get a photograph on one of these sorts of landscapes, so I'm glad about that. And secondly, it turns out it's really nice here. It just opened out and it's beautiful. So I'm going to take an image from this location, looking back towards the forest there. Uh, and I'm pretty excited about it. And we don't have any light, you know, it's, it's not great. But... You know, there's a lot of potential in this location. It's, it's a beautiful field and it looks back onto a beautiful forest. So I'm really happy. Now, coming up this path here, I noticed all these beautiful daisies here in the foreground. And so regardless of the light, you know, I thought I'd give it a shot. And pun intended. And I'm going to be taking two separate exposures here. But I'll talk you through my composition firstly. Um, it's very very simple to be honest and we've got all these daisies in the foreground and I'm going to have these at the sort of bottom left third of the frame and then I'm hoping that I sort of leads through the daisies into the forest and into the um, into the trees but then particularly in the top right hand third of my composition we've got these gorgeous sort of yellow autumnal looking trees which is fantastic and above them we have actually got quite a moody sky Loads of different tones of grey and stuff like that, which is really nice. They all blend into each other really well. So I am actually blend. I'm actually focus stacking. That's the term I'm looking for. Um, because my camera's really close to these daisies here in the foreground, I want to uh, take my first image, focusing focusing on them. You know, so zooming right into them, make sure the focus is nice and sharp, um, and take the photograph there, and then. For my second image, I'm going to focus on the trees in the background. Pretty simple, and then, you know, blend them together. Just so I can get it nice and sharp throughout the whole image. Where, you know, if I was to take a photograph of F9, just one single exposure, then it wouldn't be quite as sharp. You know, it's, we're not talking a massive difference here, but I'm just trying to get the most out of this photograph. Um, so for the foreground, I shot at ISO 400, because we're quite windy. Um, F5 to try and get the fastest shutter speed possible is what I'm trying to, what I was trying to do. And that was giving me one 125th of a second because, you know, it's fairly windy. These daisies are moving around a little bit. So I wanted to try and um, freeze their movement. I don't, I want to try and get them as sharp as possible. I don't want them, uh, I didn't want my camera to capture any of that movement. And then for my second photograph was very simple. F9, ISO 125th of a second. And then obviously focus on the trees there in the background. And yeah, like I say, I'll blend them two together. Nice little bit of focus stacking. Something I don't do very often, actually. So I'm quite intrigued to see how it turns out. But pretty nice autumnal image, I think. And, you know, the light could be better. But yeah, not too bad. Oh, 
Oh yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Too bad of an image, I don't think. Good little find and pretty decent start for someone that's just hoping to, you know, get to know these sorts of landscapes a little bit more and come to them with my camera and, you know, try and grow and improve. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Now I've got to go back through this woodland to get back to where the car's parked. Um, I think it's probably about 20 or 25 minutes walk back to the car, but I'm going to keep an eye out. I would like to get one little woodland shot, sort of carry on from where I left off last week. Um, that'll be awesome. Then I'll probably regard this week as a little bit of a success as well, if that's the case. So yeah, let's head on back into the woodland and see if there's anything worth getting the old camera out for again. Well, this is pretty cool. Just show you quickly. It's not really that cool, but see the public bridal way. Staffordshire. Staffordshire County Council. And if we go over this side, countryside service. Shropshire County Council. Not a massive deal, but we're heading over the Staffordshire Shropshire border. I mean, it's not like it's North Korea and South Korea, but. Still pretty interesting. Anyway, let's go and see what's in the woodland. All right, so I'm not finding anything in this woodland to photograph. Um, I think I'm going to call it a day. I think if I was to you know, find a photograph this evening in this woodland. It'd just be for the sake of the video, you know, trying to get a second image in there and it wouldn't really be very real. It's flat, it's boring. Uh, you know, sorry, the woodland's not boring. I just mean the sort of conditions are very uninspiring. Definitely be returning here, it's awesome. But, you know, I want my vlogs to be as real and as genuine as possible. You know, this is something that I'll be coming out doing anyway and I just like bringing you guys along with me, so. If I get one or two or three photographs, then that's great. If I get none, you know, sometimes it's going to happen because that's what landscape photography is all about. So I hope you guys don't mind just the one photograph this week. But it's been an awesome little adventure somewhere new and really sort of relaxed and chilled out. Hope you've enjoyed it. And thanks for the support. If there's any new subscribers that have come along recently, uh, welcome. Please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know where you're from, something as simple as that. It'd be great for you guys to sort of join in on the community that we have. And to all, you know, everyone that supported me for quite a long time now. Then, yeah, thanks. You know how much I appreciate your support. It's awesome. Um, I think next week I'm going to go on a little bit of a bigger adventure. You know, a bit of a road trip maybe. I've shot local over the past two or three weeks. And you know what? I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been wonderful. But it's fancy something a little bit different next week. Um, something a little bit more adventurous so i look forward to that and hopefully see you guys there next week cheers for watching as always see you next week out <laughs>